Good morning once again from Cashers, North Carolina. I'm glad that we could be together for this time of prayer. I'll give you just a moment to sense yourselves and we'll begin. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous and all the peoples have seen your glory. Be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with the song. Know this, the Lord is God. It is he who has made us and we are his. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter God's gates with thanksgivings and go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his holy name. For the Lord is gracious, the Lord's steadfast love is everlasting, and the Lord's faithfulness endures from generation to generation. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and in your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things now and forever. Amen. We've been reading from Paul's letter to the Galatians for a while, and, and today we conclude chapter 6. See what large letters I make when I'm writing with my own hand. It is those who want to make a good showing in the flesh that try to compel you to be circumcised, only that they may not be circum persecuted for the cross of Christ. Even the circumcised do not themselves obey the law, but they want you to be circumcised so that they may boast about your flesh. May I never boast of anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither circumcision nor uncircumcision is anything, but a new creation is everything. As for those who follow this rule, peace be upon them and mercy and upon the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make trouble for me, for I carry the marks of Jesus branded on my body. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. Our canticle comes from Revelation chapter 4. You are worthy, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you have ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom of priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9. Jesus said to his disciples, as they went on from there and passed through Galilee, he did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him, and three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about along the way? But they were silent. For on the way they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. 
Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'll turn aside a little bit here so you can see the beauty in the snow as we say the rest of our prayers. Praying first in the words that Christ has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to God the Father, who has reconciled all things to himself in Christ. For peace among all people and nations, that God may rid the world of violence and injustice, and let peoples grow in harmony and in justice and in peace. For those who serve in public office, that they and we may all work for the common good and for public health. For Christian people everywhere, that we may joyfully proclaim and live our faith in Jesus Christ. For those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, from doubt, anxiety and homelessness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness and the opportunities they seek. Now let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. We'll end with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and for all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercy that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Have a great Monday, have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Go in peace and love.